Hello and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This is Eddie Bauer Wool Packa. This 80% superwash merino wool, 20% alpaca yarn features 16 colors. The colorway that we chose is pumice, a warm vanilla. This 100 gram skein with 253 meters or 277 yards works up as a DK weight yarn. The suggested gauge on a US 4 to 6 or 3.5 to 4 millimeter needles is 26 stitches and 38 rows per 4 inches or 10 centimeters. For our swatch, I will be using a 4.5 millimeter needle size. In today's video, we're going to review and score Eddie Bauer Wool Packa using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Stay tuned until the end for a few pattern recommendations as well. Would you like to see how all of our yarns compare to one another or enter to win our monthly giveaway? Join our free newsletter linked in the description box below. Let's get started. For availability, we give Woolpacka a score of 1 out of 5. You're probably thinking, wait, Eddie Bauer is an adventure and outdoor clothing brand. And yes, that is exactly right. But recently, they teamed up with the large craft store Joann's to release their own line of fabrics and yarns. So unfortunately, yes, that means that this yarn is exclusively sold at Joann's and currently they only ship to the United States that we know of. For softness, we give it a score of 4.9 out of 5. So you mean to tell me that this yarn is sold at a craft store close to me and it's this soft? I was at Joann's just strolling through the aisles and when I saw and felt this yarn, my jaw dropped. And to see that the fiber content was 80% superwash merino wool and 20% alpaca, I was like, why have I never worked with this yarn before? I did a quick search on Ravelry and it appears to have come out this spring. But back to the yarn, merino is soft, alpaca is soft, put them together and I wish you could feel this yarn for yourself. And you can if you'd like, with our yarn card tier on Patreon, the link is in the description. For comparison, it is softer than Drop Sky and not quite as soft as Cardiff Cashmere Classic. I'd say it's pretty comparable to Drop's Air. For a micron count or softness scale rating, we'd give it a 17, much softer than a typical merino and alpaca rating. We haven't reviewed a lot of yarns that are softer than this one. Well, yet of course. Although there isn't a large alpaca content, its fibers are pretty long for the yarn, but I don't find them to be itchy or irritating. It reminds me of a soft halo without having to hold a second strand of yarn. But those alpaca fibers contain air pockets that can provide great insulation in the winter and are also breathable, allowing it to keep you cool in the summer, making it naturally thermoregulating. For the merino, similar to other wools, merino yarn is a highly sought after fiber for clothing companies because merino features characteristics like being odor resistant, breathable, hypoallergenic, wrinkle resistant, and antimicrobial. For traction, we give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. This yarn had just the right amount of traction for my liking. The long alpaca fibers didn't get in the way and its four ply spin didn't come apart or cause any splitting. It's bouncy but not overly round and has a beautiful stitch definition. For durability, we give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. Because merino wool fibers are more fine, it is a little bit delicate on its own. However, the higher twist of this yarn definitely adds some strength, allowing it to withstand greater tension and stress. 
but the alpaca content is able to add more strength to the merino and the merino keeps the alpaca fibers from stretching over time. I think it's a pretty complimentary combination. When it came to the stress test, we only started to notice the alpaca fibers standing out more and very small pill balls formed when feeling the swatch with my hands. I imagine it's the soft superwash merino that is causing that as alpaca is less prone to pilling. For cost, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. For being a 100 gram skein, you can expect to pay $9.99 US per skein. That breaks down to about three cents per yard, meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $50. However, I don't anticipate this yarn being regular priced very often as Joann's runs sales fairly frequently. Overall, we give Eddie Bauer Woolpacka a score of 3.78 out of five. You can guarantee that I will be knitting a project with this yarn in the near future. I love the long alpaca fibers, but also the wool content. It's like a mohair and wool yarn all in one, with a much cheaper price tag too. You may even say that this could be a cashmere alternative. So we had a little look on Ravelry and wanted to share a few pattern recommendations with you, hopefully to inspire you if you're wanting to use this yarn for a project of your own. The first pattern is Capriton by Emily Lewis. It comes in nine sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 38 to 59 inches with a recommended two and a quarter to four and three quarter inches of positive ease. It suggests using two strands of lace or fingering weight yarns held together to meet gauge or one strand of a DK weight yarn. It is knitted seamlessly top to bottom. You start by knitting the button tabs of the shoulder and then the upper back. The fronts are picked up on the top of the shoulders formed by short rows. The stitches of the sleeves are picked up then worked at the same time as the upper body and then left on hold at the separation. The body is then worked in the round. The sleeve stitches are resumed and knit in the round. The neckline is finished with a ribbed collar. It features straight sleeves, a round neckline, and a funnel neck closed by a button placket. The next pattern is the Agnes Sweater by Cookie the Knitter. It comes in nine sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 39 and a half to 63 inches and recommends six to eight inches of positive ease. It is a drop shoulder, top down sweater in a chunky texture with the lines framing the seams. You start working on the back panel flat before the fronts and joining in the round under the arms to continue knitting the body. Stitches for the sleeves are picked up around the armholes then worked in the round with decreases. The neckband is worked by ribbing in the round and then bound off using a stretchy method. The last pattern is the Louise Pullover by Lisa Woolrich. It comes in eight sizes with finished bust measurements ranging from 38 to 64 inches and recommends some positive ease. It is knit from the top down in the round in a traditional raglan. It features a neat cast on and collar shaping. Baubles are repeated and staggered regularly and evenly throughout the knit. It is easy to modify the length of the body and the sleeve or adjust the shaping of the collar. Have you used Eddie Bauer wool pack a yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's review, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.